All right, I'm still on vacation uh, here in Greece. And uh, you know how you check into a hotel? And uh, I mean, there's a lot of things to see, like this swimming pool in here, so cool. But then at the end of the day, all you want to do is kind of lie down in the hotel and watch your show. But for some unknown reason, I don't know why, but hotels decided that the TVs should be useless. Wait, let me turn it on and I'll show you that. When I turn on that TV, look what I get. It's a huge, nice LG TV. And then you get that thing. Who uses that? Why is that needed? I get television, change the language, weather is forecast, and then internet. What does internet even do? Nothing. It does nothing. Why is that needed? Now, what makes it even more annoying is that there's so many good things like on my Comcast and uh, on the streaming media that I could gladly watch here. But no, the hotel decided you get nothing. You get an internet button that doesn't even work. I don't know why it's still. I think it's time to fix it. It's time to hack the TV. Right, in order to make the TV smart and not as dumb as it is now, we need uh, a few steps. Step number one, we need the hardware. The hardware, I'm keeping all my hardware in this tech pouch. This tech pouch is from Cole Han, and I love it. I also have another one from Peak Design. That one is also awesome, but that's for another video some other day. Anyway, opening the pouch and taking the hardware. I um, carry with me always this uh, Xiaomi Mi, stick, Mi TV stick. The Mi TV stick allowed me to make a, any TV a Google TV, which is awesome. Now, if I would get one today, I would get the new Comcast with Google TV instead of the Mi TV stick because, well, when I got that one, the Comcast didn't come out yet. Uh, it's cheaper and it's cooler. But that's what I have and that's what I'm gonna use and you can use that as well because it's awesome. Okay, by the way, the old Comcast without the remote would also work. It's much lighter to carry, but it's a lot more hassle to set it up. So if you have it, use it. If not, don't buy it just for this. In addition to the streamer, you need an HDMI female to female adapter. Why do you need that? I'll explain in a minute. And of course, to make things easy, always carry an HDMI cable. It's important, makes life easy. I prefer the short ones, 30 centimeters or one feet long ones. You don't need more than that for most cases in hotels. Okay, now that we have the hardware, step number two, we need to connect the hardware to the TV. And it sounds easy, but it's not as easy as it sounds. If you're really lucky, you have the HDMI and USB ports of the TV just exposed. And then you just plug the streamer in there, connect the USB power, that's it, move to the next step. Unfortunately, it's really that easy. In many hotels, you have the TV connected to an external setup box, which serves the hotel's portal. If it's a setup box, you just pull out the, the HDMI cable, use the female to female connector in order to connect the streamer to the HDMI cable that is already connected to the TV. And that's it. You're done. No need to change the input. No need to even disconnect the TV. Awesome, go to the next step. Unfortunately, even that is not always that easy because sometimes the hotels use commercial TVs, usually it's LG, which block changing the input as well. Commercial TVs are designed to limit the functionality for the guest, so they want to ruin the TV for the next guest. But that's, that's why we're here. In some commercial TVs, you just don't have the remote in some commercial TVs, the input, changing the input functionality is actually blocked. So we'll handle both cases now, one after the other. If the TV, uh, the changing the input functionality is blocked, what you can do, if you have an Android phone with an IR blaster such as this Mi 11 uh, Ultra, you can just program the LG TV to the phone and then control the input to this. 
if you don't have an Audio Blaster built into the phone or you use an iPhone, you can buy um, an Audio Blaster such as this one from uh, Wormwood. Connect it to your phone and use that as your Audio Blaster and the process is the same, you can just change uh, the input to that. By the way, let me know in the comments below if you want me to show, to show you how to make your own Audio Blaster with Arduino that can turn off any TV and change input for any TV without the remote. A little bit of DIY. If even with an Audio Blaster you cannot change the input, in that case you need to reset the TV. On most LG TVs you can press the smart button, go to settings, here you go to all settings and then support. I know it's not where you would expect it to be and reset to initial settings. Before you leave the hotel, don't forget to reset it back. It's not nice to leave it like this. Okay, here we send change from solution settings to basic settings. However, solution settings is what we will want to do to recover the TV afterwards. And start. That doesn't matter. Okay. All of that doesn't actually matter. Done. And now you have a full TV. When you can change the HDMI to the uh, Mi TV stick or the Comcast. Okay, now we have a streamer and an unlock TV and set up to the streamer as the input. A great success! Time for the next step. Step number three, connecting the streamer to the Wi-Fi. Now, the easiest solution is to just connect it to the Wi-Fi of the hotel. Unfortunately, what that means is that all the guests of the hotel, in some cases, have access to your streamer. And that is how you suddenly, five minutes after connecting the streamer, you get Crazy Shark playing from Joanna's iPhone. We don't want that. Another problem is that many hotels have uh, captive portals. Captive portals basically mean that uh, you need to enter your room number or password in order to connect to the Wi-Fi. And most streamers do not support that. Okay, so how, how do we solve it? How do we go around that? Uh, and again, with Android, it's easy. If you're using an Android, you can connect to the Wi-Fi, connect to the captive portal, and then open a hotspot. Many Android phones can show an existing Wi-Fi connection to the hotspot. And again, unfortunately, if you use an iPhone or an Android phone that cannot do that, you will need to buy a travel router, such as this one from TP-Link that costs just 30 bucks. Once you connect uh, that router to the Wi-Fi, you can use your laptop to log in into the uh, captive portal. And from there, um, just connect the streamer to the router. Streamer now has its own private Wi-Fi network, so none of your neighbors can connect to that uh, streamer while you can still stream uh, easily. All right, now that we're connected to the Wi-Fi, step number four, profit. That's it. Now you can watch all your favorite shows, uh, all the content on the big TV in your uh, hotel room. Hopefully you get a big TV. Also, if you want to find out how to um, connect to US-based shows from anywhere in the world, basically for free, to a VPN that you set up yourself, check out this video where I show how to make your own VPN for free. If you're interested in my media setup and to see how I stream video to the uh, streamer, leave a comment below saying, I want free media. And I will uh, make sure to make a video where I explain that as well. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video uh, and now you can stream your media anywhere you travel. If you have any questions or ideas, leave them in the comments below. Be sure that I read every single one of them. To see more of my videos on tech and the digital life hacks, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. That's it, see you in the next one, bye bye.